Good morning, Prey Dogs, and happy Monday morning. We have a lot of exciting things going on, so let's jump right into our announcements this morning, starting with Miss Davies' class leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. David Sebastian. Jay. That's it, good job. What can I be card? Ready for loop. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to my group, in which it stands, one nation, one in God, indivisible, and we have to be in justice for all. Thank you to our students from Ms. Davies' class for leading us in our pledge for this week's announcements. And it is a marvelous Monday, so we look forward to seeing everybody out in their Marvel apparel today. And with this, we also wanted to just celebrate that we are at the end of our testing. We have makeups completed. We do have a few more students, and we wanted to say a big thank you to everybody that made our school-wide barbecue happen on Friday. It was a great event. It took a lot of hard work by a lot of people, so we just wanted to say thank you as we wrap up our marvelous testing season. And so we're celebrating again just by it being marvelous here on Monday, so make sure to wear that Marvel gear. All right, and we are back to our traditional, our regular band schedule as we get to close to the end of the year. You'll start wrapping up, so make sure to follow our band schedule that is listed there. And kickball practice. So our all-star team will be having its first kickball practice this Monday during your PE time. Our representatives for this year's team are listed here. We want to say big good luck and make sure we're working hard so we bring home that trophy to Pioneer. Big Smiles will be here on campus this week. I think we actually were able to get them every day this week, but we do know we'll have them for sure Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But I think we were a I'm sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. I think we picked up Wednesday, Monday, and Thursday. So let's make sure that we're taking care of our teeth. We do also have an earthquake drill scheduled for this Tuesday in the morning. And remember, during our earthquake drills, we're duck, cover, and hold. And we will be continuing our soccer tournament. So last week, Ms. Via's class was victorious over Ms. Cervantes' class to move on in the tournament. So this week, we have Ms. Stat's class going up against Ms. Labiento's class. Good luck to all those students that are participating, and let's make sure we're out there having a good time. And that brings us to our Wednesday, which we will have early release this week on Wednesday. And also on Wednesday will be that first opportunity for our all-star team to get some game time in, which they'll be playing against the staff. So we look forward to our staff versus students kickball game, which will be taking place this Wednesday morning. And we also want to welcome Miss Soto and her foxes to Pioneer as they'll be visiting Miss Castillo's class. They've been pen pals this year, and so now they have an opportunity to meet and greet and spend some time together. So we welcome Miss Soto and her foxes to Pioneer. Also, we will have our national anthem tryouts this Wednesday at 12:30. We will be in room 36 or room 51. We'll be making the announcement on Wednesday, and this is to perform the national anthem at our fifth grade promotion ceremony. So this is open to all fifth graders. Remember, we're, we will be looking for either a solo or duet only. So you'll come to room 36 or room 51 if you're interested in trying out this Wednesday during your lunch at 1230. Make sure to get your lunch and then you'll come straight over to room 36 or room 51. Make sure to listen to the announcements. And this Wednesday, we will have an executive board meeting after school, and that will be in room 24. And that's our last meeting of the year for our executive council. Thank you for all of your guys' hard work, and especially as we get ready for our last event of the year. And on Thursday, we also will have our kickball tournament continuing. And so last week, we saw Ms. Nelson's class victorious over Ms. Zaragoza's class to advance to the next round. And so for this week, we have Miss Perez's class going up against Miss Hassan's class. Again, guys, let's make sure that we remember that these are, games are for fun. So let's go out there, do our best, but let's make sure that we're having a lot of fun.
And that leads us to Friday. We get to our student of the month luncheon celebration. And families, we just want to again remind you, if you could please limit to just two people, we do love all of the company and celebrating with our students. But by bringing more than two, it makes it very hard to make sure that there's enough room for everybody. So please limit our family guests to two. That way, our students can still bring their friend to enjoy lunch with them. And we'll be doing that this Friday. And also this Friday, we will have our, an indoor flagpole where Miss Burke's class will be helping us with the flag salute. And as always, our president and vice president, Miss Christina and Asusena, to lead us in the announcements. That morning, we will also, fifth graders, be visiting Weaver Middle School as we get ready for our transition next year over to the middle school. We'll be visiting them at 930 that morning so they can give us more information about the school and just a brief introduction while we get ready to go over to Weaver next school year. And thank you to Miss Mooneyham for bringing us our pause room tip of the week, which is the friend fight. And we've been seeing more of this. And so what a great opportunity for us to refocus on the friend fight. Now, sometimes we don't get along with our friends. And here are some common reasons why. Talking mainly or spreading rumors about them playing too rough or putting your hands on them, not sharing, not taking turns, or always having to be first, not controlling your emotions and getting mad, sad, tired, hot, and etc., and forgetting to think about what your friend is feeling. So all of these are common reasons why we might get into an argument or a fight with our friend. Now, what can we do? There's good news. There's a few simple things to prevent fighting with your friends. And here's some easy things to do. Ask questions if not something is not right. Listen to your friend's answers. Be sensitive to how they are feeling. Take time apart to calm down. Sometimes we need to do that. And don't take sides or throw the friendship away. We are okay to be mad and it's okay to disagree at times. But do we want to throw away that friendship? I really hope not. Now, here's a quick video, just a little bit more explaining about the friend fight and some things that we can do to make sure that we're not fighting with our friends. So we were fighting and we didn't want to play with each other anymore. I yelled at him that he yelled at me back. I was sad and mad. We did not talk to each other for 30 minutes. He went to his desk and stopped talking to me for a couple of hours. I got sad and I went like... It didn't feel so good. I was sad and I felt angry. We both spoke to each other angry. I shouldn't have said that. It was kind of rude. You should always think first before like you say something back. I could have handled it better. We're not trying to be like really mean and like hurt each other. If we would have just listened to each other and not fight, we would have had so much time to play. If I really listened to her, we this would never have started. We should have done this. I'm sorry. We could play your game. So afterwards, I said I was sorry to him. And she said, like, I'm sorry for doing that. And I said, I'm sorry for teasing you, too. You could ask them questions about how they feel. You never know what they're going through. And you never know what's hard in their life right now. I listen to him with my ears. I listen to him with my eyes. And I listen to him with my heart. He did the exact same thing. I saw what's in our heart, so I loved her. It's OK that we disagreed, because we're different people. The lesson is not to hurt, not to like tease each other and like hurt people's feelings. Make it a habit to not fight. It's okay to disagree. Show them compassion. It made me feel better. And that's important because you could have the greatest life of your history of lives. I'm glad that I didn't stay angry. Be compassionate. It fills your heart with joy instead of like running it to sadness. The happy face feels so much better than the angry face. If you just like make it compassionable, maybe you'll get where they're coming from. Then we all live happily ever after. So let's make sure that we're taking that time. We're listening to our friends so we're not fighting with our friends. And so let's make sure that we continue practicing all of the different strategies that we saw in the video and that are here for us so that we're making sure that we're maintaining our happy friendships. 
Now, just as a reminder, students, let's make sure that we're being extra careful at release time. Make sure that we're watching for cars. And for our families that are watching, please, let's make sure that we're being extra careful, that we're making sure that we're being extra mindful of students and making sure we're being on the watch out and being careful. We want to make sure that we're working together so we can make sure that all of our students make it home safe. So please make sure that we're following all of our safety reminders while we're doing pickup each day. And for our students, let's remember too that we're making sure that we're safe on the blacktop. We shouldn't be kicking any balls on the blacktop. That's an activity that should only be occurring in the grass. Again, this is so that we're not hurting students that aren't paying attention on the blacktop area. So we're not kicking balls on the blacktop. That's only in the grass areas. Thank you, Prairie Dogs, for making sure that we're practicing this so that we can make sure that everyone remains safe. And we do have some shout outs to share. The students from Miss Hassan and Miss Hassan wanted to give a shout out to Miss Irene. Shout out to Miss Irene. She was absolutely the best proctor they've ever had. She anticipates the students' needs and takes care of them promptly. She was a pleasure to have in their classroom, so they wanted to make sure to give a shout out and say thank you to Miss Irene for all that she did to help Proctor during testing. And the students from Room 36 wanted to give a shout out to Miss Nelson, their teacher. They wanted to just say thank you for being so supportive and kind during state testing. And another shout out goes to the dance club dancers that can be seen here from Friday night's culture event, which was a lot of fun if you had a chance to go out there. And they wanted to give them a shout out. They had their last performance that Friday night at Farmdale. A lot of work and time was put into their performances. Many friendships were made in the process. So they wanted to say a big thank you. And as you can see there, a lot of fun was had by this group. So thank you to those dance club dancers for all their different performances. And if you remember, they also shared with us at Pioneer on our Multicultural Day. Now, next week, we will be having our marvelous fun day coming. So let's make sure that we keep working hard so that we all get to enjoy this day together. And our quote of the week, as we're getting close to the end of our school year, let's make sure that we're not counting the days. Let's make the days count. So let's do everything that we can so that we're continuing to have good days and we're making sure that we're doing great things each of those days. Don't forget, all our library books must be turned in by this Friday. And if we could, make sure that you're also paying for any of those lost books you may still have. That takes us to our yearbooks. You can still purchase them by going online. And so if you're still interested, the information is there for you. And let's not forget Prairie Dogs. Let's make sure that while we're getting close to the end, this is something that we have done well with and we've practiced all year. So let's make sure we continue using the peace path when we get angry, which means that we're not putting our hands on anybody. We're making the choice to talk it out, walk away, make a new friend, or get help. And don't forget, there's never a good reason to put your hands on another student. Let's make sure we continue to come to school every day with our positive plan, meaning that we're present at school, we're always kind, we're working hard, and pray, dogs, if we do that, we will be successful. That's what we have for you this week. Please make sure that you stay tuned for the birthday announcements this week. And remember, each one of you is great. Just allow yourselves to be. Have a great day, Prairie Dogs.